Hello, my name is Krishna from Best Engineering Project and today in this video I am going to show you how to measure three phase AC voltage using Arduino. So before starting to circuit diagram, circuit description and source code, please subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon in order to get information of every new project that we will post in this channel in near future. With this project, one can measure AC voltage of any amplitude. Say you can also measure the voltage of 10 volt AC or you can also measure 700 or 400 voltage AC. This LCD show individual phase voltage that is R, Y and B voltage. Now let's see the working principle of the circuit. As Arduino cannot measure AC voltage directly and also cannot measure high voltage directly. For that we have to first convert it into lower voltage. For that, high AC input voltage is first converted to lower AC voltage with the help of this transformer and the rectifier using full wave bridge rectifier. The output of rectifier is given to voltage divider network which lower the rectifier output, DC voltage and further filtered and given to general diode. The output is now given to analog input pin A0, A1 and A2 as shown here. And this Arduino process it and display the output voltage of AC over this LCD. Now let's see the circuit diagram. At first let's see the circuit without this processing and displaying section. Now let's analyze the circuit. The input AC voltage to be measured is given to primary side of transformer X1 which lower the high AC input say to T voltage to 12 volt AC. Arduino cannot measure negative half cycle as input, thus we need to either clip or have to change negative half cycle to positive half cycle. In order to do so, we are using bridge rectifier. The bridge rectifier circuit is designed using 4 general purpose rectifier diode. In this case, I am using 1 and 4001 diode, but you can use any other according to your ability. The rectifier output is fed to voltage divider network designed using variable resistor BR1. Two fixed terminal of variable resistor are connected to positive and negative terminal of rectifier output as shown in circuit diagram where output is taken from variable wiper of variable resistor BR1. Now a general diode is used here in order to protect the circuit and work only when breakdown input voltage exceed 3.7 voltage. Now the output voltage is now given to Arduino Uno analog pin. Arduino measure this voltage and display over LCD. LCD is connected to Arduino in higher order data bit that is only higher order data pin D4 to D7 is used to communicate between Arduino and LCD. If you have problem in interfacing LCD with Arduino then do watch our previous video. The link is given in description section. This 3 phase AC voltage measurement using Arduino Uno is nothing but the combination of 3 different single phase AC voltage measurement. If you see these 3 circuits are identical and the output is given to 3 different analog input of Arduino. And this all value is display over this LCD. So here we are going to describe how the single phase AC voltage measurement is functioning and all the other two phase is identical than single phase AC voltage measurement. We have to calibrate the circuit in order to find the accurate AC mains line voltage over this display and to find the multiplier. For that, at first stage, we have to measure AC mains line voltage. For that, adjust this multimeter in AC voltage measuring mode and switch on the AC mains. As you can see here, it shows 228 voltage. Note it down. And then you have to adjust the variable resistor, this variable resistor, in order to get the output values of about 2.66. In this case, the value is about 2.66. Now step 3. Upload the calibrating software to your Arduino and open Soil Monitor. There you can see some value, say 545. Save this value because we need it for further calculation. Now adjust the variable sister in order to achieve that value. Calculating the value of multiplier. We all know that for 5 volt DC Arduino show 1023 value over this analog input. 
similarly by using unitary method we can calculate voltage for one division that is 1023 is equal to 5 volt then one division is equal to 5 by 1023 volt thus for 545 division voltage is equal to 5 divided by 1023 whole into 545 that is equal to 2.66 voltage mains voltage is 227 volt AC or do you know so 2.66 volt DC now again by using unitary method multiplied is equal to 227 divided by 2.66 that is 85.30 therefore multiplier is equal to 85.30 is the value we gonna need in software code now at first let's see the software code for single phase AC voltage measurement first two line is for including liquid crystal library and declaring pin for liquid crystal and then we have declared pin for AC input voltage that is A0 after that setup function start in setup function we had configure the pin mode for this AC input as we are taking input thus we assign this pin as input after that LCD begin and serial begin start we had set the browser rate for serial communication is 9600 the setup function loop function start in very first line of loop function it called the function LCD dot clear which clear the LCD display if it show any garbage value after that after clearing LCD we read the value at analog input in division form that is the value is shown between 0 to 1023 it's time to convert division voltage into AC voltage for that we need multiplier that we had calculated earlier here the line int AC volt out is equal to R out whole multiplied into 5.0 divided by 1024 and whole multiplied by multiplier that is equal to 85.30 value is different according to your calculation and your country mains line voltage After that we had displayed this value over serial monitor and LCD display after code for three phase AC voltage measurement is somehow same as single phase AC voltage measurement except here we have to do extra calculation for two extra phase as you can see in first few line their three pin is assigned for three different phase voltage after that in setup function also you can see there three different pin is set as input pin function also we had to read the value of three different pin that is a0 a1 a2 and then convert that output division into three different voltage and after that we have to display these all voltage of our lcd Thank you for watching this video please subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon and let us know if you feel any difficulties while making this circuit as you can see here three different voltage for three phase is shown here r y b 